Yes, it is. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Hello. <clears throat> you might notice every so often that there's the sound of um uh, a rubbery noise in the background. That's because my chair ate shit yesterday. So I'm you currently wearing. I'm currently wearing. I'm oh. currently not wearing. I'm I'm sitting on a fucking yoga ball instead <laughs> of an actual chair. Well, I'm waiting for my new one to come in. You may notice the rubbery sound is no. It's followed by the dying gasps of orange. <laughs> It's true, here I'll do it right now! Ah! <laughs> you died. I always not... thought seeing a yoga ball would help out your posture and just help you with sitting. I mean, yeah, but but tr but training that is by you do that by putting pressure and exerting force. Mm-hmm. So I did look at this game's entirety of CG's. Actually, uh, we shouldn't talk about that on Yeah, stream, but... pardon Joshua, he's talking about the, the, the elusive vampire porn game they just found. Uh, well, well, now that since you brought it up, I might as well bring it up. I, I, I have not seen a single bit of intercourse in here. Damn, Damn, it's posted, just nudity. You posted it early in pornography. There, there is no intercourse in there. Okay. <laughs> At any rate... The intercourse what? report is a <laughs> failure. Old school game devs were wild. What if we made a game where you play as Dracula, but it's, it's in a rogue, but you can't actually have sex? And it's also like, gory like, as fuck. It's gory. There's more gore than there is sex. Well, there's also a bite mechanic. Mm hmm. And this game was like. Is that like a DOS game? What is it released for? It's a DOS game for sure. Wild. We all just games, no shit. No, oh. but these CGs look very well done. <laughs> Alrighty, I guess for the time. Despite the content. Hey, I gotta fucking turn the Killer7 soundtrack off. <laughs> there we go. If you want to, I guess. Well, go, do you want to hear that or do you want to hear... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Every day is not just playing. <laughs> okay. Right, Where's the yeah. gift? I'm busy right now, <laughs> unfortunately. I'll do it. All right, let's see. There's Vel there's Valhalla. I just have to allocate it. <sighs> okay, I thought my Discord was gonna freeze on me again, but no. Oh, there we go. Fine. Found it. You're Hot so dog. Fine. Oh fuck. Sukiban games. Sukiban. Last time we saw Jill, it was Poggers, and well now, now we'll never see that spread again. I'm gonna cry. Josh is gonna cry out his whole ass. Yeah, it's okay. So Bill's paid. Oh yeah. Can you have a boyfriend named Bill? We don't talk what? about him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, unrelated. I just I tuned into the stream and everything. First ad I get is one with Lil Sweet, you know, from the Diet Dr Pepper commercials. Wait, what? Update. Lil receiving mysterious messages. Update. Hmm. Okay. It's time to become one. Hmm. Yeah, the machine rejection. Ooh. Okay. Model Warrior. Julianne no, returns this February. Yo, let's, let's go. Let's go. Oh, Is that a tear in your eye? No. <laughs> it's just raining. Uh, uh, she'll be like, they're bringing back my favorite cartoon character, anime character. I'd be like, they're going to bring back by all. But, but they're bringing it back in modern anime style and it loses oh, its no. charm. Dude, oh, Joshi, no. what would you do? It's a Netflix remake. No. Dude, Joshi, what would you do if they brought back Bionicle with a vengeance? Um, depends on how they brought it back. Anyways, <laughs> good evening. Ah, hey, Jill. How are you feeling? I won't say good, but not that bad, I guess. That's nice to hear. Where's go? Did he run away again? Nah, I have him on air duty. Buying the drinks for tomorrow. That sounds 
weird coming from the owner of a bar. Every drink from here would come out of our own funds. <sighs> so if we're gonna spend money, we might as well get more variety. Besides, those kinds of walks are always good for Gil. Randy, your mic. And you're, and you're the boss. Who's coming so far? Well, there's the three of us, the dogs, you invited Titty Hacker, Jill invited Jamie. Oh yeah, I also invited Dorothy when I called her to spend the night with you. Sounds good so far. Invite anyone else you feel like inviting. The more the merrier. I could, but I bet everyone's made plans by this point. That's true. I'll be in my office. Call me should anything rise. Alright. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, this is you, B. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. It's come. The Day of Reckoning oh, is here. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Awesome awesome. Have you awesome. seen the Yeek name? The have you seen out. the name of the stream? It's the Yeek episode. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait here. I'll check. I'll check inside. Oh, my God. What is the static noise? It's Rindy's mic now. Is it mine? Yeah. Is this better? Yes. Yes. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, oh, BTC bar. Fuck off! Excuse me, but do you know where the Athena Convention Center is? Why does that place make people get lost so easily? They should have called it the Minotaur Center. Mm. Oh, hold on. Let me scribble all the directions on paper. Thanks. Go to the right, and you see a building filled with hobos. And this should be it. Thanks a lot. Anything else I can help you with? Nah, what the hell? I'll take it. I'll have a drink. What about you? The other one is voiced by Khan. If they talk? <laughs> if they talk. <laughs> um, so are these new characters? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's great. A Brantini, please. Right. <laughs> I did not know this was the Yeek episode. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck. Ow. How is Yeek spelled? Oh, two like, Y's. Y-I-I-K. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's getting it, it's Y2K. Wow. Plinturism. That's no, that's a joke. It's, it's a play on words. Here you are. That's how plagiarism is, Khan. No, I mean, dude plagiarized from a novel for his game. Oh, oh yeah, he really? did. He super fucking did. Yeah, 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 no, he did. Yeah, he did. Like, y Yik is full of a bunch of, honestly, just very questionable things. What novel? Oh, Wind up Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami. One of my favorite novels. Thank on the Yeek you. episode. Moving on. That's an interesting outfit in this cold season, mess. Hey. Well, actually, I'm cosplaying, so call me Bella for the time being. And your little friend is Essentia. I get it. And you're cosplaying too. Sure. Let's go with that. We can get through this beef. We can get through this girl. We can get this. this. Right. I'm seeing the left girl a lot in screenshots. I'm not seeing the right girl. <laughs> we can, we can get through a game beef. called Geek Bartender. So, the same thing. Oh no! Oh, the people, right? the people, the the people who published uh, the bartending game also published Yeek. It was cross promotion for when the game came out. Which, to be oh. fair, Yeek was originally supposed to come out around this, like a little bit after this, but then it got delayed a little bit. 
Oh boy, I can't believe I have to lie, lie on, on the internet. That cult classic game that's been like three times that, that has three remastered versions by six different companies this have, year. Have you heard of that renowned piece of shit? <laughs> that one. We're in a cosplay group dedicated to it, so and we got lost on the way. <laughs> God, I'm dying. They're hipsters. They're hipsters. Don't worry about it. it you guys got pissed off at me for Homestuck. We never what? did. But like, at least Homestuck was actually popular. Mm -hmm. I never got like, pissed off at you. I, I'm making a joke. Oh, anyways. Uh, anyways. Yeah, I'm I know really you guys would never totally be pissed off at me. Anyways. <laughs> hmm. I heard you talking to someone outside. Oh, yeah. A friend is cosplaying as Alex. I told him to wait outside. Thank God. Good choice. <laughs> at, le at least that. <laughs> Shouldn't he here? We were spared the Alex crossplay. Thank God. I'll be fine. <laughs> something amiss? There's a girl behind you. Short hair, black sailor uniform, missing an arm. Hi! Wearing jeans under a shirt. Now, now, don't spook the bartender. Spook. <laughs> Anything else? I'm gonna fluffy dream and be on my way. Andrew? I'm fine. First indie game to sell one trillion copies, baby! Oh, holla! <laughs> We're gonna get our fucking hammer before a convention. Hey. Good choice. No, oh, wait, fuck it up. Has to pay honor to the legendary classic Yeek. God. Yeah. Oh, 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 it's overshadowed. Oh my god. Orange, you're gonna. She's gonna be in danger at that con. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. You know, she's with her friends. It's fine. Yeah, no, she'll it's be fine. fine. As long as they're I don't know. This lame scan the sass. As long they as have their friend Alex. Friend in the group. <laughs> I think the Alex. implication is that, that, that that's the I... actual Lucentia from, from Yik. <laughs> I don't God. think that friend out the friend that cosplayed Alex no. is the benefit in this case. I think you make the situation worse. No, don't worry. He's already just stuck in an elevator, vibrating with motion. <laughs> All right, here. Take, take the drink, please. It's on the house. Just go. <laughs> yep, this is the thing. Damn, I got dizzy pretty fast. I, I wonder why. Stop here. Now that I think about it, just who are you, um, Essentia? Isn't she your friend? I guess? I don't know. I just kind of met her in a convention and she's stuck with me ever since. She also seems off, like she's missing something or thinking too much. Interference. Slow synchronization. Well, I won't hold you any longer. We should go. Bye. Please, never, I mean, come again. <laughs> don't, let, don't let her hit you on the way out! I do. Why the hell are you on the floor? Tased? By the vending machines? What? How could an elevator vibrating with motion? I wonder if he's been something to piss off Weedy or Gogo. Black sailor uniform. I hope I'm just overthinking it. Oh, what the hell is going on? Don't worry about it. <laughs> More importantly, though, jeans under a skirt. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hey, Dorothy. Uh, oh, hi, honey. Look what the, the fuck? Oh. Hey, look at the TV. There she is. What are we talking about? Nothing. What? Nothing happened. What do you mean? Are you okay? But I just kind of wanted in here. I guess I'm a bit distracted. Will no I just wander? Can I get you something? Oh, uh, a sugar rush. Yeah, that. Alright. What we're actually supposed to serve her is a piano woman. <laughs> Do you think Dorothy is eating out right now? Oh my god. She's, she saw them and had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> uh, that's, Dorothy that's is going to favorite. beat them up that's for being nerds. Favorite. That's my favorite indie game kick. Oh my god. Here you go. 
This is... Didn't you say you liked having a piano woman when you felt like celebrating or, fe or were feeling down? I did. You did? Wait, I did. You actually remember such a thing. You're so sweet. I was half expecting her to say that she meant a literal piano woman. I'm glad I was wrong. So much silence. Oh, look, her eyes are making little hearts. Yeah. They are, are they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. they're horrible. By the way, thanks for staying with me the other day. It turns out I really needed that. So, did you enjoy the soda? Oh, did you find one out? Was it supposed to be a secret? No, but don't go around telling everyone about that. I did it because it was you who needed my help. But the hack knack is usually one of my most expensive services. It is? Hey, I don't know if the client has body odor or something like that. Not to mention it, limit the chances of getting any other client at night. Still, do you help? Yeah, it helped me cool down a lot. So, from what Dana told me, someone close to you died, right? Yeah. Do you want to know more about it? Do you want to tell me about it? I've brought it up enough times already, I think. No problem then. You were sad and that's all I needed to know. Sorry for the loss though. I mean it. Thanks. Although, I wondered for a while, do you um, really understand death? Sorta, kinda. Our whole database is constantly being backed up in a collective source. Even if our bodies are destroyed, we can be deployed again with our personalities and memories intact. So, our concept of mortality might be different. We do have a fear of death, though. You do? We can't even begin to understand the idea of not being redeployed. While we have built in warnings, the mere idea of that nothingness is paralyzing. There are a few that don't mind it, but we do fear that, and we don't wish it on anyone. In fact, that was the argument used for abolishing the whole through lasting. You seem quite knowledgeable about robot history. Seeing what others have done to make sure I can live like this, like, like I do, lets me not take things for granted. Seriously though, those laws were bullshit. Can't harm humans, can't disobey humans unless it's about hurting them. And you can protect yourself as long as it doesn't, it doesn't harm humans. I mean, sure, the first guys were just helpers and tools. But how could those laws still apply to them after they achieved self-awareness? Who in their right mind would abide by only by rules inscribed in some old book? I remember correctly, those are only the distilled versions of the laws some writer imagined over a hundred years ago. They were a reduced version of all his ideas. However, many authors afterwards took them like they were the very laws of physics or something. And like many other things, people distilled and exaggerated what they needed and used it to their favor. Wow, you're a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> and look who's talking. Let's change the subject a bit though. It's getting a bit gloomy. Your product is very comfy, you know? It's a tad small though. I'm sorry about that. And your cat is so cute! What was his name again? Four. 
Why far? I figured if he ever got lost, at least I'd be able to yell four. It happened once. You'd be surprised how many golf players you run into. And every time you play with him, you can say it's four play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was also named after someone. Really? Oh. A little kid that wanted to transcend. What? A movie character or something? Sure, let's go with that. Mm hmm? Hmm. Do you want anything else? Let's see if you know me that well. Give me something that I'd like. Okay, then. Another, 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 what would Buffy do? It's another pee in a woman, <laughs> baby. <laughs> God. So what is Piano Woman in reference to? A Piano Man. Oh, it's, there's one called a Piano Man? Gender, gender equality, sir. Yeah. It was originally called a pretty woman, but too many people complained that there should be a Piano Woman if there was a Piano Man. Um, See, what about, what about, what about the Piano Person? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. What about? I just... Is it satire? Is it... <laughs> All I know, like, the only alcohol I really know is, like, is, is Johnny Bootlegger. Oh, <laughs> and Bloody Mary, but everybody knows Bloody Mary. I mean, I know about a sex on the beach. I know a sex in the garage. I believe it's that sounds nasty. Yeah. Apparently Irish car bombs are very bad. <laughs> 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 I've heard they taste very That's bad. a great quote for the day. <laughs> yes. I, the I other ones are bad too. Some it's may not argue. <laughs> You're texting the driveway. That's what I'm saying. Can I, can I pitch my third drink for the piano trilogy? I already sure. see it in the text. Uh, uh, piano rhythm. Alright. Anyway. It's, it's a pun. <laughs> Anyways. WWDO, what did you order? Here. <laughs> Good. What a cheating. You just sent me this link. Still right, isn't it? Yep. I still can't believe you actually remember what I said about the piano woman. It's always good to keep note of what regulars like, you know? I wonder for a while, though, why do you keep coming back here? For you, of course. That's gay. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> come again? Why else would I come, if not to see you? Even not a few people willing to hear me out, always filled with curiosity. And you're cute. Talking to cute people is always nice. There's also the bar, the way it's insulated from the noise of the city. It's really comfortable. It's just a bit away from the street I'm always at. A win-win situation. I see. It was weird to see you down though, especially since you're always so lively. Well, I wasn't down, really. I was just thinking about a lot of things. Like what? Well, my mom, a uh, guardian, asked me to go home on Monday for a bit. And as much as I love her, being with her is usually tiring. A guardian? And that whole thing about someone taking care of a little after they've deployed until they reach maturity, right? Yep. And I'm right to say that I reached psychological maturity in just one year. They always try to keep a varied pool of volunteers to make the collective source grow faster. So, what's wrong with your guardian? Well, she still treats me like a kid. 
The worst part is it's not so fish she might see me as some sort of replacement for a dead daughter. Ah. What? Dead daughter? I was deployed to her not long after she lost her daughter. A contrived coincidence, really. Even when I was still developing self-awareness, I almost feared she might be using me as a replacement. Oh, I don't want to She didn't though, or at least not consciously. At times, she would just stop doing something or return a gift she's given me. If she felt like she was projecting too much of her daughter onto me. What irony that years later, I'd make a living pretending to be someone else in the bedroom. How's that? Well, most of the time, my job involves role-playing. A daughter, a student, some helpless kid. Mm. It means I've gotten many clients again exactly for that, but on the other hand... I might want to give Rindy a sec. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> From a professional standpoint, I'd rather have them hire me because of me. Because of my character, not because I'm the one that role plays with little girls. <laughs> Maybe I need to exaggerate some attributes. Exaggerate. Exact. English is dumb. Exaggerate <laughs> some attributes. What's, what's the problem with your guardian then? And if you do that on a daily basis, why worry about it? You say English is dumb, yet you choose to speak it. That's because America's me. a colonizer. No, uh, you know what? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, go off, B. I know where you're coming from. How about we don't go <laughs> off? How about we read the visual novel? <laughs> How about we not go on that tangent? Because I don't want to make her sad. Every time I visit her, I wish she might look at me and see her daughter. That seeing me makes her sad. At this point, I don't even care if she's projecting her daughter onto me. I just... I don't want to make her feel sad. Did you try talking with her? How so? Telling her just what you said to me. Clear up those fears. I mean, unless she's not the kind to want anyone opening up to her, that is. I never really thought about talking to her about that. It doesn't sound like something you just bring up, though. Keep it in mind, or keep it in mind, at least. Maybe she'll appreciate the dresser. I wouldn't know, though. I haven't met her. She's a really nice woman. The problem is mostly with me, I think. Well then, I'm taking a break. Oh, I'll be leaving then. No, what I'm trying to say is that I'm taking my break. You wanna come? Really? You don't mind talking on a chilly night in an alley behind the bar, that is. Done worse in our eyes. Let's go, boss. I'm taking my break. All right. Okay, so I think I miss it. What was that about her having a mom? Uh, what is it? The AI, the Lilum in this se in this series. Uh, they have guardians or overseers that essentially act as their parents. Ah, uh, all right. They're like largely until they reach, until they reach like psychological maturity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. And then whether Which or not you break, the time. and then until whether or not you, break. The apartment. and then whether until or not, they... oh my god, when whether or not you, whether or not they decide to stay with their guardian afterwards is kind of up to them, or like if they break off contact with them to a certain degree. All right. Also, until they can pass the Harkness test. All right, there's my good. Jesus, what one? <laughs> Are you really offering a little girl a cigarette? Now you're a little girl? I 
I always am. In a sense, though, I read the Nada Mata entirely. But anyway, thanks. No. Did you bring four of the? I didn't think you brought four of the bar again. <laughs> Smoking seriously messes with my air filters, and they're a hassle to replace. Don't mind me, though. Smoke your has content. Thanks. So, why don't you tell me about this guardian of yours? I want to know what kind of woman she is. Sure. Well, her name is Sophia Graham. Wait a goddamn second. <laughs> Hi! Graham? Uh, is that a yuck thing? Like, oh like, shit! <laughs> do you remember the demo the demo level we played? <gasps> no. The girl! Who? The, 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 the there was a girl that Anna I voiced Graham. named Anna Graham. Can, do, do we have a picture of her? Is it wrong that I just now got that Here. one? Here's a picture yes, of her. Yes, because it's obvious. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's on the front cover you know, of the game. You know what? You know what's really funny? This picture is in uh, the Valhalla wiki as a picture of Jill. <laughs> you just now got anagram. Yeah. Yeah. But you got the Chrono Cross game. Yes. Is it good? Yeah, it's alright. I heard that the performance was bad. I mean, it's a Switch. So I mean, yeah, obviously. But it runs it's, fun. Anyways, it's it's good games. That was a you get mastered. No, okay, well, let's go back to you. Anyways, <laughs> Just say, let's get Graham. back to you. Mm -hmm. Oh my chest! She's a tight beauty chair. Now that she was at, at the gym doing the morning shift, she's pretty fit, if I do say so myself. She had a daughter. Apparently, she's suffered from nano machine rejection all her life. And when she finally healed, she was hit by a truck. Um, what was her daughter's name? I don't know. I never asked, really. Are you okay? I'm eating fear. Or is that surprise? It's hard to tell. I'm fine. You wait, read? Well, I don't see emotions like you do. I have to make do with the combination of body heat readings, face recognition, and context. I'm still a bit confused about some, but I'm getting better with time. Anyway, you sure you're fine? I yeah, yeah. Scared or surprised? She's not wrong, though. Wait, does that mean your last name isn't really Hayes? Yeah. Hayes is just my artistic name. Sounds more exciting. And that's what we usually look for in this business. Yeah, yeah. I tried other names though. How ironic that she that like she appeals to pedophile fantasies and her name is Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> Dolores Hayes. Genesis Graham. I tried Dorothy Warrior once, but the legal team came out of nowhere and stopped me cold. So, what's your legal name then? Rebecca Dorothy Willow Graham. A bit of a mouthful if you ask me. So, Dorothy is actually your second name. Should I call you something like Becky Bun? People have always called me Dorothy rather than Becca for some reason. That's why I chose it. It's useful too. People have tried to falsify stuff using my name, and they always get caught. Because they use Dorothy Hayes as her name. Yep. Only my uh, guardian calls me Rebecca, so it's a weird hit from others. What about Willow? Willow is my first surname, actually. When I got registered, my guardian was married to a guy who had Willow as a last name. Shortly after I joined their household, they separated, so I was left with his family name first. Hold on. 
So your real name in short would be Rebecca Wavell. Doesn't have the same pizzazz to it, if you ask me. Whatever you say, Becky. Stop it! It'd be like if I called you Julian all of a sudden. <clears throat> wow, that was anger I just read now. Lots of anger. I think it's weird enough already if you called me Jill instead of Honey. Wait, huh? I can end up feeling associated with a name that's not yours? I have an uncle that always called me Tina, and he kept calling my cousin Tina Jill for some reason. I never us mind it though, because he's calling us what he thinks we're called instead of mixing us up. And that's... and that is completely useless to try and correct him. But you know, maybe that effect is true for your clients too. How so? Well, you're worried about your clients not hiring you because you're you, right? But think about what happens when it's announced that a character will be played by a different actor. Sure, it's a character, but people are also going for the actor playing the character. So are you saying they go for my roleplay instead of just me roleplay? Sounds too far-fetched. Sounds plausible, actually. Okay, Connie. I'll take my leave now. Don't want to take up all of your break. Thanks for the chat. See you at the party tomorrow. Hi. Need to remember to buy some more c cigars. Those are not yeah. cigars. Those yeah. are regular fucking marbles. Cigarettes. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna Trust me, I know my cigars. Talk amongst yourselves for a little bit. Oh, sweet. Nice bathroom time. <laughs> Orange, I'm taking my break. <laughs> you You're right. Game? Ten shilling <laughs> copies sold. The indie game market owes its entire market to Yeek. I'm yeeking the fuck out right now. Me. I'll never play Yeek of my own accord unless someone gives it to me. Also, me. <laughs> unless someone gives it to you. How much is it? Hey, AC, what's your Steam handle? Con, don't uh, you need to save money more than, like, any of us? I I mean, it, I guess. Also, uh, also, I am not the. Also, remember the only reimbursement you'll get for Yeek is me eventually getting around to streaming it. Yeah, that's the reimbursement. We want to watch you suffer. <laughs> that's the reimbursement. We're gonna make you suffer. It is apparently 20 bucks. I will wait for a sale. Damn. Yeah, I'll wait for a sale, too. I'm not that petty. Or that petty. Recent review, like, all reviews mix. Recent reviews, mostly positive. I wonder if the, if the, if the Snyder Cut of Yeek will truly help. I think I'd rather go ahead and brush with my toothbrush on the toilet and then use it. Uh, I wouldn't. I'd rather play Yeek. <laughs> uh, the quote Michael Rosen to Robo. Quick! Get out! Get out of there! Okay, I think a lot of these are ironic thumbs up since somebody said better than Omari. Oh, yeah, wow. that's ironic. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Yeeked out. Yeah, that one's also this, this one person. So this out. one person, their Steam handle is Yeek, and their review is God, I love Yeek. Yeah, that's just spam. I don't think that's I mean, spam. This cannot be a real person. I think I think it's the team of Yeek making fake accounts to praise Yeek. They have sixteen friends. Oh, dear. oh, hey, fun fact. Uh, uh, getting off of Yeek. Did you know that uh, Rindy super judged me super hard? 
because I didn't read things in FF14. Or, excuse me, she thinks I didn't read in things. You didn't read things, but I have proof. So, Wait, what didn't you read? Are y'all talking about this bullshit again? Wait, hold, um, hold he on. He brought it up. I did what? bring it up. They're just having another lover spat. <laughs> about what? Hold on, I'm still lost. Jaji <laughs> completed a quest, which gave him a mount and explained him how to use a mount. Then he went for hours without ever using the mount because he didn't read the part that told him how to use the mount and that he has a mount now. What? Um, wait, wait, wait. That was so, months ago. Wait, wait, so Josh did an Aaron Hansen? I mean, we didn't complain about not getting a mount, so like, at least that. I just oh, went, where's my mount? I'm not supposed to get it. She's yeah, back. Did I miss something? <laughs> it's FF14 stuff. And now Orange has been uh, away from keyboard for a while. Unless you count the worst PPV PPV main event fight I've seen all year. Not really, no. Alright. Going out. No, I'll have a word with Gogo outside. He was so hyped for that match. He must be devastated. Okay. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, I say. Fuck! Hold on. <laughs> Deal. That was awesome. Fuck! <laughs> sorry, sorry for laughing. Just take your time, say. Can we get some uh, good yoga ball ASMR on? Good evening, Jill. Be sure to like, groan. Uh, what do you think, groan? Jill? You have to groan. Oh, shit, my headphones! <laughs> 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 I popped the headphones before they fell over. <laughs> good evening, tempted. Jill. Come back. Did someone break their back? Anyway, <laughs> How are you doing? The nightmares have stopped, so I'm sleeping better. Uh, <clears throat> uh, how about your injuries? My bones are healing nicely. My wounds finally closed, and the scars itch a bit, though. Oh, that's good to hear. Are you by yourself today? Yeah, I'm running a couple errands of errands by myself today. But I wanted to come here for a while. I also noticed the big guy from West Town's outside. Buster? Stella doesn't want me to uh, being alone while I'm still healing, so she suggested taking him with me. Uh, I see. What can I get you? Something cold. Sure. I, I wasn't ready for Say to come in here. I was like, man, I, I, I probably don't have a wolf today. Oh, fuck, I do. I probably need to back. Are you laughing? Yeah, I like to imagine that instead of- Con, it's fine. It was funny. Instead of the regular <laughs> puppet this time, it's uh, it's it's the Kermit puppet, but uh, she's just holding him and he's on top of a yoga ball. <laughs> a little tiny yoga ball. And every so often he bends we back and goes, ah! for <laughs> <laughs> She has to balance it. Yeah, you're breaking yeah. back. I really wish and he gets it. he gets very scared and he's about to fall off and starts groaning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> really, it has to bounce like that one gift friend he saved. Please. Which gift? Here's something cold. Ice cold. All right, all right. I mean here. Nice. <laughs> yeah, this is the one. Cooler than being ice cold. <laughs> I might drink something cold when the weather outside is so cold, too. Oh. It's not that cold, actually. You know, Say is the type of chick 
that's me that will get a fucking frappuccino when it's like. <laughs> <laughs> but I've always had a decent tolerance for the cold, so I'm not a good reference. I, I will say I was the motherfucker in high school where, when it was snowing, had jacket off in shorts walking through the snow. How? Oh my God. So Stella isn't with you today? The kid just... wearing shorts in the winter versus the kid who wears the Please jacket stand. in the summer. Do you, not eat, do you not eat pasta in the summer? Then why don't you eat a milkshake in the winter? <laughs> oh, well shit, I didn't get to read that. Okay. <laughs> that was the line, it was about the, the, the summer and winter. She's, she's throwing a mega Christmas party tomorrow, and is having a meeting today. I'm just helping her by checking on some of the things she ordered. And here I was already to invite you to the party we're throwing tomorrow. You're throwing a party too? Sorry about that. I can't really say no to Stella. Maybe next time? If there is a next time at all. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. You go be with your girlfriend. I, I... I want you to know that I want you to have a good time. Have fun! Drink a couple beers in our honor. <laughs> I will, then. What are Stella's Christmas parties like? They're really big. There's a lot of food and drinks and music. Sometimes there's too much food, though. So at the end of the party, she lets the staff take home whatever's left. She also buys toys for all the children of her staff members. Really? She says something about taxes or whatever, but during the whole thing, she just shines. She she carries a beaming smile that I don't see any other day of the year. Many of the kids have uh, even started calling her Auntie Ella. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stella always does her best to put up with a uh, put up with tough girl facade, but she's very much in touch with her inner child. Christmas, Easter, Halloween, name a party and she most likely celebrates it big. Nice. Interesting. Do you like parties, Jill? I don't mind them. They're a good place to see people. I'm not one to actively look for parties to attend, though. I just don't mind going to them. Ah, I see. I only go to parties that Stella is attending, because otherwise I just stand there without anything to say. Uh, uh relatable. <laughs> that and I, I'm not the one to wear dresses, you know. You're not. I'm a tattoo ripped. They don't look cute on me. <laughs> Nonsense. Oh. I'm too oh. fucking jacked. <laughs> I'm too shredded to wear a dress. Girl, you wear that dress and you fucking own it. What's it, what are they gonna do? Break their fucking necks. Yeah. Although, with all this healing I have to do, I won't be as fit for a while. They're too, um... Breezy too. I feel like I'm wearing nothing. At all. But I bet you look great good in a dress, Jill. No, great. Even amazing. It's been years since I last wore one. I wouldn't know. Last time I wore one, I remember wearing if my arms were too thin or something like that. We all have a complex, huh? I mean, even Stella has her own. That's hard to imagine. Oh, but she does have one. She distresses a lot about her bus size. Hmm. 
So really quickly, I looked up to see if there was any official art of Jill in a dress, but there isn't. But there is one of Jill dressed as the girl from the anime that she likes. Oh yeah, that was from no. the crossover with a uh, Frontier Girls, I think the yeah, mobile game. Oh, yeah. crossover. Why why don't you post that that is, that is not what I expected. Wait, why, why, why aren't you posting the other version? There's another version. Oh yeah. Uh, a damaged version, I suppose. Mm. <laughs> Renee, can you send me the other version? I'm curious now. Yeah, yeah. Just send me to too. I already talked about her boobs. Chris, Theo, there are some alt ass costumes in here, but anyways. Really? She's not that small. I think I'm smaller than her, in fact. I need to stop scrolling through that. I found Jill in a diaper. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I just tuned in. What about who and a what now? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about Actually, it. it's the opposite. The Moving opposite right kind along. of complex, I mean. Please, please, please don't bring that up again. She's a bit self-conscious about having a big chest. Really? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, again, I've seen bigger chests than hers, to be honest. Although I guess comparisons are useless here. They rarely help with com complexes. Well, she does go for go the extra mile to do to hide it. In fact, I have no idea how she does it. I mean, I've seen her before and after she tucks them in, uh, but I guess I never cared enough to ask the specifics. That's also why when she goes out, she styles her hair in those, uh... Drills? They look a bit drilly, don't they? She styles her hair like that to help divert attention away from her chest. She seems affluent enough, why not go through reduction surgery? Cause she also kind of likes having the size. She takes her bus size after her mom, and Miss Carmine is quite proud of her chest. Puffing out your chest is a sign of confidence, and a bigger chest means more confidence to show! She says something along those lines a lot. Stella has quite the... Uh, admiration for your mom or her mom yeah. so I guess a uh, breast reduction would feel like betraying her uh -huh. I'm making it sound like she's hiding J cups or something like that I guess in a taller or thicker person her size would be normal she's just a bit shorter and or thinner than the norm do you get self-conscious about your best size, Jill? Not really. I've been more self-conscious about my height. And although it usually comes up whenever not being average height hinders me somehow. What about you? Yes and no. It's not my bus size, but rather that I look too manly sometimes. Why Balls again? And I can't help but wonder if bigger boobs would help with that. You're fine, don't worry. Thank you. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. Do you have something non-alcoholic? I do. Give me a second. Something non alcoholic. Get this lady some tea. Uh, specifically, she wants a bleeding Jane. Oh. I'm afraid she's not spilling any tea today. Ha 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 ha. Alright, gotta blend it. <laughs> I love how Stella and, like, um, uh, uh, uh say or, like, uh, they never state it, but they're clearly lovers. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, they talk about it. People who mistake them for love, for lovers. I'm not sure if they're actually together or not. 
They should. You know what they are. Be. I they agree. Are I agree completely. I said they should be. Just go all the way, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> anyway. Here. Sexual tension. Thanks. You don't want to drink that much alcohol, are you? It makes me feel sleepy, or at the very least, makes my legs go numb. Oh. It's an annoying feeling, to be honest. It makes me wonder what's so good about getting drunk. Nothing. I mean, I'm not above it, but it's not exactly a pleasant feeling. You feel like you're sleepy? Oh, you feel like you're sleepy when you're not? Your legs go numb. Everything starts sounding funnier than it really is. What's so good about not being able to control yourself? That's a good question, actually. Usually people like feeling numb because that numbness helps them forget their problems. Even if we don't talk about alcohol, there's a portion of people that can't afford food. Or who are suffering from some pain that only alleviates when drunk or high. Doesn't really sound logical on paper, but then again, humans are really, if ever, logical creatures. And despair and pain cloud your judgment, and you do stupid things sometimes. Yeah, I've seen that firsthand. This world has a, an ugly side nobody deserves to be a part of. <clears throat> and there's also a matter of addiction, you know? You start just liking the drink, but then you need more of it, and before you know it, you're hooked. Oh yeah, that too. So tell me, what kind of party are you guys throwing? Nothing fancy, it'll just be me, boss, Gil, and a couple of regulars. I'll bring food, we'll chat for a while, and that's it. Man, that sounds so good. At least better than the whole planning madness Stella is throwing right now. If you ever throw something like that again, you let me know, you hear? Sure. Hmm. Hey, say. Yeah? What are you planning on doing now? I'm gonna check uh, one last errand before going home. No, I mean, what do you plan on doing now with the White Knights disbanded and all? Hmm. To be honest, I don't know. I never prepared a plan B because I figured if you can go with a plan B, why you just why not just make it a plan A? I'm not the brightest person, or the sharpest tool in the shed, so I never graduated from college or even high school. I could go for a position with the police, but it wouldn't be as thrilling. And then I'd have to dislike you. And I I'm tired of blatant corruption. Sick of it. Oh. But I'm alive. I learned something after that hell in Apollo Trust. Life is not something that you can just throw away easily. Clawing my way out of that place made me realize just how much I want to be alive. Body count left in the bank it was ridiculous, but I'm still here. I don't know what I'll do, but I'm alive. I'll figure it out sooner or later.
That's nice to know. Well, I gotta go. Bye, Jill. Good luck with the party. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hi, Mr. Detective. Uh, Maybe uh, stop playing Final Fantasy. Uh, I, have a, I have a question. Oh, can I be here? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was say, like, uh, uh, will Robo be available, or will we have to stick with the plan that he directly pinged me with in the live general, live Lunan roll chat? Sorry, my mistake. What did he ping uh, you with, huh? Uh, uh, he's 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 oh. oh crap! Orange! What, huh? SCP just told me, at least through this Twitch chat, it says you're still playing Umi Neko! Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> wow. That's uh, fine. Well, how the Yik episode Actually, on you? Oh, yeah, no, it's just easy. Someone Nicola, check yeah. how many viewers follow Valhalla? <laughs> I can't believe it, he robbed himself of all the potential viewers. This swindled it's me. It's fine. It's out of I'm all of you to enjoy the one thing you can't swindle me of. I know where I can swindle you. Answer Wendy's question. Baha has 14.4k followers. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> oh the meast viewers. <laughs> and there's like only four other people. Well, there's three people streaming Apparently it. there is three VTubers streaming it. And we're oh. better than all of them. No, I don't not. know. We are Wait. we are in the universe. Wait. I think we're, yeah, we're better than all. Of them. Wait, no, 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 Orange, Orange, you should. Have, I know what you should have done. For the what? beginning of this, you should have made it where we looked like we were streaming Yeek. No. <laughs> oh, no. No. oh, like you should have super did that. At any rate, um, well, what if he's AFK, uh, can I just do my go to voice? Oh, uh, <laughs> and no, no, AC literally added <laughs> fucking. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Robo added AC to take over. Okay, fair enough. Alright, go Wait, ahead. Wait, fuck, can I still be heard? Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank fuck. About uh, the bird? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, hello there, girl. Hello there, Bane. Give me a strong drink, won't you? Alright. Alright, what does he want? Uh, he wants a Mars Blast. Manly. <laughs> okay. 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 Give the guy a fucking Mars Blast, I guess. Hey, can I be honest? What's up? Uh, Art is probably my least favorite character in this entire game. Phil? I don't know. Uh, hey, worse than Virgilio? Worse? Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. you don't okay, like so, so, so I like Virgilio. Nothing. I actually like Virgilio a lot. Wow. Wow. There you go. Wow. <laughs> She said it. Here you go. <laughs> yes, this will do. So, what brought you here? Ah, nothing special. I was just working on a case, and I just happened to be in the area. What kind of work? Tracking someone. A gun for hire. Oh, yo. <laughs> what about the girl? Crimson something? I am tracking that girl. Didn't you just get out of that job? I did, but the guy offered a huge amount of money, and well, I just couldn't refuse again. Well, it's your life, not mine. I wonder, though. There has to be more to that whole thing than just acting as middlemen to looking for some murderer. Say, how safe is this place? We're protected by the BTC property laws, and the walls are soundproof. And I really couldn't give less of a shit about selling info to anyone. Okay, wait, wait. Soundproof walls? Why? Did you see those vending machines outside? They're quite talkative, and the bastards be annoying without those vaults. All right then. Have you have you heard of Lord Lance Lavender? No. 
Blood apparently has some weird reaction to Glitch City's nanomachines. Once in contact with the air, it does nothing. But if it's still fresh and touching someone's blood, the nanomachines will initiate a reaction. Essentially, they'll just eat through the other person's body until there's nothing left. And using them as a guinea pig to see what causes that reaction, and if it could be used to fight nano machine injection. Uh. Well, it turns out that Crimson Rose is his daughter. She left years ago to earn her living here, and he hasn't seen her ever since. He could be lying, you know. Doubt it. Did my research. She really is his daughter. Why didn't you figure that out earlier? I had no clue who was making the contract, and tracking all the messages to the source would have been too costly. Knowing who the sender was made things easier. I see. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. What about a cobalt velvet? Okay. I'm sorry for the viewers at home. I <laughs> wish I could do a Costanza voice. What does Costanza sound like again? Yeah. Right. George likes spicy chicken. He wants a cobalt velvet, he gets a fucking cobalt velvet. Am I supposed to roll all these pennies myself? Me? It's me, you're gonna do the it's me routine to me? Here you are. Oh, you actually did it. Were you expecting me to mess up? Or so you didn't have to pay? No, no, no. <laughs> so, what made you accept that contract anyway? Keeping in mind- oh, fuck. Oops, sorry. Keeping in mind all the risks you told me about last time? He told me that he wanted to see her again one last time, or at the very least deliver her a message. You could have been lying. Yes, people lie. You made your point. And even even then, I felt like I couldn't say no. I mean, I know what it's like not being able to find your daughter. Mm -hmm. It's like to be apart from her, to so not to know what she's doing, or even if she's all right. You do. I have a daughter. She's about your age. When she was a teen, we had a big fight. She ran away from home. At first, I just waited for her to show up. And I started getting worried and went out to find her. I didn't find a tra any traces of her. Nobody had seen her. Soon, I was worried. Something might have happened to her. I guess that's how my tracking skills and list of contacts began to grow. Finally found her taking cover at some dumpster, unconscious from starvation. So yeah, I couldn't just say no to, help to his request of finding his daughter. But I don't expect you to understand. So, how's the search going? Uh, I'm very close to finding her. That girl's pretty good at covering her tracks. Compared to her from before the bank incident, though, she seems slower somehow. Either she's let her guard down, or something else is happening. What will you do when you find her? I have this letter I'm supposed to deliver to her. 
I don't know what it says, and I don't want to find out. What if she... Oh, what if she tries to kill you? I might not look like it. I can take care of myself, bartender. You don't stay so long in this business without picking up a couple of tricks. Yeah, I guess you're right. I, I better go back to work before a trail goes cold. Please come again. Are you done? Yeah. Okay then. I want you here tomorrow at 8pm. No working before. The bar will be closed tomorrow. Come dressed in your absolute best. We're having a party after all. All right. Uh, where's Gil, by the way? He stored all of our things in his home because of how close it was to the stores. So I told him to go home already and bring the stuff tomorrow. I see. Well, see you tomorrow, boss. Hold on, wait a bit and I'll go with you. Oh, sure, thanks. Uh. Alright, it's time for the party. <laughs> Let oh, us wow. celebrate Let Santa's celebrate resurrection Santa as the Mega Santa. Santa. Hey, Santa. Hey, Santa. Hey, Santa. Hey, Santa. Hey, Santa. Almost, almost Mega Christmas means it wasn't Mega Christmas. <laughs> um, hey, fun fact, you know how art looks like, uh... Costanza? Yeah. Apparently, uh, uh, art's name is actually a, a pseudonym that Costanza uses within Steinsfeld. Steinfeld? Steinsfeld! Jerry. I love his visual novel. What's the deal with time travel? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> I finally put my keys uh, <laughs> in the in the gel nanowave machine. <laughs> Is that what sounds good as a bit? Something Maybe. like that. Oh my god. Is it sexist to have an army? <laughs> a robot, a robot woman. woman. The king of the West, Kanye. <sighs> From the western age of Kanye Mania, it's approximately 6,000 robot soldiers. <sighs> I'm pretty Kanye sure Kanye Mania went through the military. Oh <laughs> the oh show before. <laughs> Do you think they have, like, for their, like, uh, drones? It's like the fucking. It's like Kanye heads, like, flying. It's like the. It's like the Meet Dave Eddie Murphy head, but with Kanye West. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Uh, yo, 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 Yuri show? <laughs> yo? Yo? What's on the Lilith Oh, you're, you oh, Yuri. 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 <laughs> Yuri! It's your Yuri. Oh my god. Alright, let's go to the- let's go to the Christmas party! Let's go. An embarrassing photo of Jill at the Christmas party! Ah! Yeah. Sorry I had to do the screen for that bit. Jill, I told you to come in the nicest clothes you have. These are the nicest clothes I have. You came in your uniform! <laughs> Carry on, I read the line. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, you and Gil are in your uniforms too. Well, I can't really show up in casual clothing. I'm being monitored. What about the kilt you wore that one time? I'm still surprised that one didn't bring the dress code somehow. <laughs> and you go? I don't have that many clothes to begin with. You people depress me. Well, everything's in place back there. Uh, almost here. 
You know, there was a time when people greeted others before saying stuff like that. Come on, Jill, greet her properly. Welcome to Valhalla. Wait. <laughs> Man, if that's not a sign that you need to ease up on the work, I don't know what is. <laughs> Shut up. It's become a reflex. Wait, Alma also came in her usual attire. Why aren't you saying anything to her? Ribbed sweaters get a free best! Hell yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Why? <laughs> a silly question, never mind. Jillian came- Jamie came here earlier, too. The dogs went with him to get some ice. Don't we have- don't we have ice? Trying to take it out of the bartending station is a chore, so it's better to buy some outside. Huh. What are you doing- what are you doing back there, Alma? Setting up the food warmer. The what? Now I bought it three days ago. It's amazing. It looks like just a set of wires, but you can create a frame with them. Put the food inside, press a button, and watch as it warms the food up just like a microwave. It's a fucking air fryer, oh my god. It's an infomercial bobble, though. Really useful, but tricky to handle at the same time. One wrong move, and we'll be out of food for the night. Everything will be scorched in a second. Oh. So you've bought infomercial stuff, too? Haven't you? It's at the very least a good idea for good. Gifts. Well, dynamic entry. Finally, at least someone, at least somebody came after me. Is it true that I've already heard it three times in the last hour? <laughs> <sighs> Oh, don't be like that. She's not saying it out of malice or anything. She just found it funny. You're taking her side now? Jealous? Hmm? You wish. <laughs> you don't need to fight for me. We're not. I'll go check the microwave wires thing. I'm starting to get hungry. Great idea. This is menacing as fuck. <laughs> when the boss and his two goons show up. When, <laughs> when, when, uh, when Orange Bone and Bone show up at the bar. <laughs> Speaking of which, Bone. I'm back. Actually, I forget how I did this guy. You also do the dog with the eye patch. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, hello, Jill. Soldier, you're late! Jay! <laughs> See, that's how you greet people. You shut it. Uh, I'll g g go help. Uh, uh, um, uh, I'll go help Sweater Pops. <laughs> Something wrong. He's not good with dogs. Oh. All right. all right, all right, we're all here so we can start. Yo, Anchorage! Alma. I don't know what I said. How's the food doing? It's doing well, but it'll take a bit. Can't you speed it up? I've used those microwave wire things before. It's either warm nicely but slowly or burn that bitch. So, how long? 
15 minutes or so. A bell will ring when the time comes. We need to kill some time then. Hmm. All right, let's play Truth or Dare. What? Oh, shit. Oh, pass. Games are for kids. I'm in. Sure, I'll play. That's fun. As, as long as that. <laughs> as long as that mutt stays the fuck away from me. Close enough. <laughs> That'll make time pass faster. I'll play. You play. Here we fucking go! <laughs> oh, now it's getting good. Alrighty then, rules are simple. If you get picked, you pick either truth or dare. After you finish, you get to pick somebody else. We go like that until food's done. What about punishment games? Those are a hassle. Just issue new questions or challenge until the other person complies. That said, Joe! Yes? You start. Fix someone. Oh, um. Who are you gonna pick? I'll say what? Oh, yeah. Who do I wanna pick? Kind of oh, Even shit. My wow. <laughs> So, um, um, is there like a do you do all of them or like is it this? this so, one? um, actually, do you want like a slight heads up? Uh, I mean, sure, I guess. If you choose Rad Shiva, he's gone for the rest of the fucking truth or dare. Whoa, wow, really? Damn, okay. Because Jill will just dare him to leave. <laughs> wow. <Damn. laughs> so, this is just the standard truth or dare, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of curious what Dorothy has to, do, what has to say. Uh, no, I wasn't going to say it. But yeah, we're going to we'll do Dorothy oh, first. Boy, uh, well then, Dorothy. <laughs> yes! Truth or dare? Let's go eat truth. Is there anything you've rejected from clients? Doesn't want to roleplay with mutilation. Oh god. Huh. I mean, sure, I can take off my limbs with no problem. Uh, I have to do it with that back. Whoops, for maintenance. And sure, I can take off my limbs with no problem. I have to do that for maintenance every now and again. But I'm not okay with doing it for clients. Because first, that leaves me defenseless, which I cannot allow by any means. And second, half the time the role involves a violent scenario. And there are some behaviors I want to enforce, namely non consensual violence of any kind. Interesting. Alright then, my turn. <clears throat> oh shit, that's how it works? So maybe, maybe you should have picked first. Oh shit. Oh, never mind. Never mind. You, Slaughter Pops! Me. Truth or dare? Um, dare. You're brave. You're stupid. Okay. I want you to say the most sultry voice you can master. Admin override. Oh no. Okay. <clears throat> Admin override. Happy. Yes. Very. Seems you caused some collateral damage there. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> don't mind me. Seriously, guys. 
Well, let's see. You, the dog. My name is... Yeah, whatever. I want you to bark. I didn't even pick gear! I said... Bark. <laughs> <laughs> I ask you to do it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Bark! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dude, listen. Listen, it's all well, right? right? I can't believe okay. you were just asking for cheat saw. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I bought a Mockima print. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bark barking! Hey, if I bark, then I'm the king of the bar. Because I'm barking! <laughs> Seriously, Joe? Yeah, yeah, I have a weird sense of humor, whatever. No, it's Sorry. amazing. My no. turn! Hey, Jay! Drink it here! Um, dare. Then, pet me! The gang called him just the dog, not <laughs> Rachima. I'll pick the truth. Okay! Why are your nails so thin? My. Eh? Your nails! I don't dig with such fun big nails! Um, all humans have nails like these. Wait, they do? You dig? With shovels. You guys are weird! Why are you so reluctant to pet it? Call it a gut feeling. Wonder how long until the food is done. Uh, I'm thinking I wanna like, talk to Dana. <laughs> All right, boss. Pick. Truth me. Why don't you get your arm? Oh, it's second god dare me. <laughs> Lift Gil by the neck of the sh- uh, well, yeah. Okay. Lift him. Lift him. Ah. Oh. Go up. Happy. I guess. Who cares? You didn't have your arm. I do! I care! Alright, Gil, now that I have you in this position, answer me. I didn't pick! You're in no position to pick! Now answer! Did you live in Scotland for two years? Scotland? No. I guess that rules out a couple of possibilities. Um, Chief. What? Oh, right, I'm still lifting you. Sorry, down you go. And now she apologizes. Guess it's my turn. Hey, Alma, truth or dare? Hmm. Dare. Oh, oh, I have a suggestion. You stay quiet. Fine. Mm -hmm. No, he just like me for real. How strong are those arms of yours? It's still my muscles under them, so not very. Although not having fleshy skin makes things easier. Wait, that's truth, not dare. I just wanted to make sure. I dare to break this nut with your hands. Okay. Well, that was easy. Holy shit, Gil, are you really into that? Eh? I see when you were breaking nut in her hands and then watching her eat it. Does that turn you on? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, is this an actual thing that you're in Sky's son? I need to know for professional reasons. <laughs> you're a pervert, Gilbert. Get wait, that was close this time. My turn then? Alright. Hey Jill, pick. Um, truth. Okay then. What's your most embarrassing childhood dream? Um, elaborate? <laughs> For example, when I was a girl, I wanted to be a professional puzzle master. I guess in a way I accomplished that, but you understand. Mm. I wanted to be a ventriloquist. Ventriloquist? 
ventriloquist, sorry. Huh? And now she has become one. That's right. Oh my god, it was canon all along. Yeah, <laughs> it's complete. When I was a child, I liked this show called Lucia's Funhouse. Is that a coincidence or did you know that? No, that was just coincidence. <laughs> The one with the woman in the house with the talking stuff. That one. My parents divorced when I was around six, I think. My mom was on tour with, on tour with an orchestra and my dad was working constantly. I spent a lot of time with my grandpa, but he slept a lot, so I was on my own for most of the time. I used to pretend that things like chairs or beds could talk, and since AI wasn't so advanced back then. Anyways, I went to a magic show once and there was this guy making a puppet talk. My dad told me he was a ventriloquist. So I kind of obsessed about wanting to be one. And even today I'd be lying if I'd said that I don't think about and hit every now and then. So that's why you pretend four can talk. She what? Nothing. I'm getting hungry. Uh yeah. We're gonna do Gail, yeah. Well then, Gail, what do you pick? I'll go with Dare. I dare you to eat this bell pepper. Truth! I mean truth! Eat the bell pepper. Eat it! 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 I'd rather eat not. It. Eat it or I'll make your life impossible next week! No, eat it or I'll make your life impossible next week. Do it. Uh, like this isn't her, even her in character. This is just con. <laughs> <laughs> is that hard? Yes. Anyways, what do you pick, Alma? My pick, truth. What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you while drunk? I. I almost bought a timeshare in Panama. Eh? What? Ha! I was on vacation with my family and family's friends. Oh wow, they were counting on you picking Grad Sheba at some point because he just shut the fuck up. Like he's, he's not talking you. anymore. <laughs> 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 He's enjoying the, the time. We went to a hotel where a couple of salesmen tried to coerce us into buying a timeshare. When I was sober, it was obvious bullshit. But then I fell into their trap with the free bar. Were it not for my brother-in-law, I'd be forever doomed to spend one week a year in Panama. Oh my. You could just not go. And lose my money? Forget it. Bell? Food's ready. Finally! Let's go! You guys go ahead. I'll have a quick smoke outside. <laughs> Careful. Sure is there dare, huh? It was fun, I guess. for the hello, don't you think? Want one? You know I don't smoke. True. Are you leaving already? Yeah, technically we celebrated Mega Christmas yesterday. But I just got a message that Diana is making a ruckus, so I gotta leave. Good luck with that. 
Speaking of ruckus, how have you been doing? Fine, I guess. All of this just kept my mind off of something. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. Kept my mind off of things for a while. You sound like you're dying. Jesus Christ. Who, me? Yeah, a little bit. It's a smidge. Um, is it weird to feel an absence of someone you had no contact with whatsoever for the last three years? As Katyusha, already the old literature maidens whose spouse went to war types. I mean, even if you had no contact with her, maybe she was constantly on your mind. If you tweak the circumstances, it's not that different from one of you going to a war. I guess. Well, all of the circumstances make me not want to. I've gotta go. Be careful out there. Oh yeah. You should take this chance and spend this time with everyone inside, don't you think? Mm. Yeah, she's right. Jules back. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, God. I remember seeing this and going, "What the fuck?" Oh, it's oh, adventure God. time. I can't believe they killed the past. Oh my God, this is just like Sinful Game. Uh -huh. It's just Valhalla like Ruby. It's coming. Is this canon no, 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 with a no, no, no. in classroom? No, it's Sonic Adventure Two. <laughs> I can't believe that they ripped off. The greatest <laughs> thing alive, Soul Eater. I can't believe even Shadow the Hedgehog oh, pissed on his fucking wife. <laughs> <Down on the shadow. laughs> no, Mama, I'm pissing on the moon! <laughs> also, Jill looks so great right here, but. Relatable. Relatable image of. Oh, of, she of doesn't have a nose. Very That's adorable. <laughs> I wish I didn't have a nose. I'd fucking freak <laughs> people out. She's just like Krillin for real. Mm. Uh, hey, Thor, what's up? You know, you guys are the reason I go to therapy. <laughs> I yeah. mean, to be fair, Krillin won a fight due to his sheer lack of a nose. Rent is due on the 30th. Please make sure your cat has the necessary $10,000. Fuck that, oh, yeah. I hope you have that, Jill. I, I don't want to get kicked papers, out. Please, no. Reminder that every drink costs between 150 and $300. Reminder they want me to buy the Yik. <laughs> Fucking no. It's time to buy the Yik <laughs> figure! You've been using that hoodie a lot lately. The beard apparently grows. What is it, a fucking wow. Chia pet? Wow. He's calling me out. From calling me classic out. video game Yik. His beard grows in real time! Yeah, <laughs> Yik go. Is the Alex? There's the Alex figure. It's right there on the shelf. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's so yeah, funny yeah. because like people are gonna be. It's so funny because in this game they're all like, "Man, that hit game Yeek Yeek will be forgotten." People go, "You know that hit game Valhalla?" What do you mean forgotten? We talk about Yeek constantly. I wish it was forgotten. So Only today, Rindy. No, that's not that's true. Indeed, no, wait. The, I know. the best boss. Which city is Olympics? Is adorable. Now, Wendy, I will say, I will say that you're the main offender. No, I was gonna say, I will say, I am at fault for most. Cartoons of it. are was, not for children. I was going, I was going to take fault, but now that you said that, Wendy, I'm not gonna blame myself <laughs> for it anymore. Hey, wait a minute, is this Rindy a fucking? <coughs> is this a goddamn reference to that one dude? That's Fluffy Tail. That's Fluffy Tail. Let's go. Oh, oh that song God. is awesome! Jesus it's Christ. A, it's, it's a, it was a thing before, the, the song is also a reference to something else. Street, uh, Street Race of Motors and District leaves two dead! Uh, let's see, the Death Lane. I like that both of these articles are by the same person. Oh, they're all, they all are, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, also. Mo Mo Monster Girlfriend of Chi uh, Chirari? Yeah. I can't stop playing this game. Gorgeous Man, graphics. Hasn't done a thing in a year. Innovative and addictive battle system. Fun dating mini games. Cute girls. That fucking music. 
Oh, wait, this is the same thing. Yeah, that's right. This is the goat girl one. She's the goat. Okay, that is a so... dog outside. Grand Slam Fighters. Oh, this is a wrestling thing. Let's see. And then the model warrior thing returning to TV. Julianne's the old and busted. You will never discover Rule 34 for the first time again. <laughs> Sequels are sh oh she's mad <laughs> she's super mad. <laughs> Wait, what's the dialogue? Uh, is your lip trembling? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not cringe. It's based. <laughs> Just like I'm stuck. Mm. It's still the thirteenth. Once midnight hits, I can stop talking about it. <laughs> I mean, we could talk about Neil and him mm. making that music. How many hits just banging out? Gil's in the back sorting an ingredient shipment, and I got things to do. Dog's in charge, okay? Bye! What? Wait, the dog, what? Hey, first order, pet me! No. Pet me! No. I'm in charge, and I want you to pet me! This is sexual harassment. <laughs> he commands you to respect his authority! Uh, oh. No, uh, you know what? Teams. You know what? That's why I just like Ratchet, but because he is a fucking South Park character. Let's talk about Neil banging out some tunes. No, Neil banging out the tunes! To on April 13th. Mm. Yay, Neil! Who's mm. Neil? He's banging out the, the tunes! The rat banging out the tunes. It's time to make some change log. He was banging out tunes on April 13th, 2006. It's been 15 years. Hey, Jay! Won't pet you. You'll pet me sooner or later. They all do. Won't. I want to. We I want to cut, I want to cut this guy's chip. <laughs> he said will, not Gil. Ah. Who the hell is Will? Nobody. Everyone with poor Will. There's no Will. Do you need me to psych you up then? Shut up. Who? Me or Will? <sighs> no, did you see the off series? I think Will needs some psychic up. Oh my god, AC, god damn it. Do you know how much willpower it took me not to say anything? Oh my god, thanks! Out of my bar. Thanks! <laughs> I mean, the inner will put a lot of power into that slap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, anyway. Back to the script. Did you actually read that line B? I forget. I did. Okay. Alright. And you, stand by. Only if you pet me. Go. The fuck just happened? You are your needed. Well, aren't we spirited today? Welcome to Vaha. Really? Why do you sound so weirded out? You didn't show up with the. Bombastic soliloquy. Well, putting up an act can be tiring, you know. It's an act? So it's all an act then. Or wasn't it obvious? I guess. Uh. Would you mind getting me a bleeding Jane? Sure. Uh, you see, for Gilio, it's not that bad. It, and, but I would call a stark contrast. Uh, it is being He's being completely genuine and wants a bleeding Jane. And we gotta blend that, bitch. I'm curious. If somebody gave him, like, a bleeding Jane to say one of those weird orders he does, that, well, I wonder how he reacts to that specific one. A bleeding Jane. Yes, this is just the thing. So tired of putting on an axe. 
can't explain. It's a long story, and I'd honestly rather not talk about it right now. Fair enough. What made you change your mind, though? Well, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The pompous buffoon act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicion. It's safer? That's a word that's been losing meaning lately. Wait, that was your way of avoiding suspicion? Yes. Eh? You do know how weird that sounds, right? It sounds weird. You trying not to raise suspicion, but you act like a bombastic man. But you act in that bombastic manner that screams near there. And everyone dismisses the fool as a buffoon and moves on. He's good. I mean, you might be right if I were talking about hiding myself. But I'm avoiding certain crowds of people. Yes, my behavior might call everyone's attention. But then everyone just decides I'm harmless and disregards me. And depending on how erratic my actions are, I become harder to read. You legit going, you, I am only pretending to be an idiot. Giving me yet another layer of enigma. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say he was acting like an idiot. He's just very, being very yeah, he's so for the sake of No, oh, congrats. No offense, but I fell right to your plan. I just dismissed your actions as those of a fool and moved on. Yeah, she saw him do math. You completely fooled me. Thanks. Say, can you give me something spicy? Sure. Something spicy. What did you mean by that, Bon? There was like a part where he was doing math, and it was like, I, I forget what the math was, but it was absolute nonsense. Well, yeah, art, it's like fucking weird artsy math. It doesn't make him stupid. I, I don't know, he seemed legit with it. I mean, he's a little stupid. 17 is us. Are you fascinated by spiciness? What's spicy for humans might not be spicy for other animals. Hell, what's toxic for us might not be for other creatures. Do you like spicy things, bartender? I don't mind. I don't mind them, I guess, but I'm not really a fan. That neutral stance is actually Weird to come across. Everyone either loves spicy things or hates them with passion. Do you like it? Lots. Not only in regards to painfully spicy things, but also the way mild or slight spice adds to a meal. I've always had this dream of opening a curry stand. Hmm. Huh. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. Let me know if you do. I haven't had curry in ages, though. <laughs> hey, bartender. Call me Jill. I wanted to apologize. Mm -hmm. You put up with me all this time without lashing out. I should apologize for my behavior and thank you at that. Don't worry. I actually feel like I was too rude to you the last time you came. Granted, you came and had a really bad time, but... I should be the one apologizing. You're a client, after all. 
Well, don't. I'm actually surprised that nobody else had violently lashed out at me yet. Uh, you're making me curious as to who you really are, though. Is Gilio your real name? You wouldn't happen to go by Curry, would you? <laughs> it might be, it might not. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a magnet for people who, like, who hide their identities and sort past. Gil, Jamie, you. Um, did you say something? Just rambling. Pay me no mind. Now that I think about it, how did you find this bar? I was... Avoiding some chaps and came to this alley. Huh, again. Again. In my time here, I heard avoided people and ended up here enough times to make me believe that the original owner built the bar here thinking about the runaway public. make me sound like a criminal. You're not helping. The expression went away doesn't just mean people escaping from the law, though. We have people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. I've seen people more shocked by an insistent salesman than a shady figure. Maybe because it sounds like it's more an active predator, I don't know. Uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Troublesome part of the city right near the shopping district. Let them know there's a bar and they'll come. Sorry, I should stop rambling to myself so much. I don't mind it. Do you think I'm sort of criminal, though? Like I said, you're not helping. But for all I know, if you might be a buffoon I've seen the other days. In any case, can I get something bitter here? On it. Uh, Kermit, you can run the bar for a bit. I'll be right back. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Ugh, God, my nose is getting stuffier by the second. Alright, hold on a second. Assuming control. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Here. This works. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? Ah, as weird as it may sound from a smoking bartender. No, I don't. Well, I get it. It's not for everyone. That cataboomer the other day. What about her? <laughs> Still scared of her? Not really, but she looks so familiar. Maybe you're mixing up with her. Mixing, maybe you're mixing her up with another cat boomer. No, that's not it. It's like the bandage girl last time. Even with the bandages, there's just something really... familiar about her. You need to stop thinking about it. Answers usually come to you from uh, when you stop stressing out. You might be right. Well, I leave you for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hello, Mr. Detective. Man, all the wieners are here today. And here we are. Another mute person wandering into the bar. Anything I can get you? Got punched. Okay. Go punch the sound detective. Does he want the drink or the actual gut punch, though? I'll give him both. <laughs> there we go. 
Damn it, I really need to unload some st- Oh! Here. <laughs> oh, you, you got it right. So, what's up now? Ah, uh, bit of holiday blues, you know, you could say. So, you celebrate Mega Christmas? Why wouldn't I? Uh... You look more like a Festivus kind of guy. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, she said it! Why does everyone keep saying that? Well, Festivus is a celebration going into the capitalist madness that is Mega Christmas. And you know, cheapskate. <laughs> if you have something to say, please say it. I'll refrain. Although now that I think about it, holiday blues is not really tied to a specific celebration. Just the season. A season of consumerist craze! Mega Christmas is the mockery with a real Christmas once was! I mean, the season has slowly become enslaved to corporations over time. Holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. We live in a society we're supposed to act civilized. But then came that turbo mail guy. He started a yearly tradition of dressing up like the Santa in a ring. Turbo mail? That can't be his ring name. Oh, it is. Really? That attacking name was accepted? Oh, his partner it was Buster, Ma Buster Master, and his rival was Dr. Chris Max. Tacky names were not a problem. I mean, I knew there was a wrestler to dress as Santa. I was when that guy became insanely popular and the sun got out of control. And, of course, that's the part everyone sings about. Santa became Nega Santa thanks to the Redmond family. Nega Santa sees the error of his ways and becomes the mighty Nega Santa, renaming the holiday Mega Christmas. Is this a Excuse storyline? Excuse me. Uh, and then every company jumped in on the bandwagon and Christmas is like mega Christmas before anyone noticed. So you're telling me that the guy who man who some managed to rename the holiday went by the ring name Turbo Mail? Yup. That makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. The holiday is a joke. <laughs> and you're telling me you don't celebrate Festivus. No, I, I don't. Do you know what kind of people celebrate Festus? Festivus? <laughs> the kind that's so lame and bland, they can only talk about how they're better at that because they celebrate Festivus. Like those jerkwits who only eat nuke and think that they're better than everyone else. I see. Anything else I can get you? Give me a French weaver, will ya? Sure. sure. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, again the fringe weaver. Because of his rant, I got the I got to attempt this slightly uh, uh, channel more Costanza into the role. You're doing great. Okay. Here. Right. Uh, right. All right. Thanks. So, any issues with the city lately? Look for it on the street. Shouldn't I be asking that? There's nothing new, really. Well, then still entering the White Knight stop, so there's that. Really? Something about the armor. I haven't gotten much on that one yet. Oh, no, the madness following the attack on the bank seems to have settled down a bit. That's good to hear. Have any other details about the about the attack emerged yet? All records of what happened there have been long deleted. Security cams, system logs, everything was wiped. Whatever happened there, it's become even more of a mystery now. I wonder if Say plans on testifying. Does anyone know if Say went there in the first place? Maybe the wiping of everything actually protects her somehow. Hey, bartender, you okay? Sorry, got distracted. I don't know what's weird, the fact that I'm a mind reader, or the fact that I noticed that you pronounce Say two different times in your own thoughts. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> yeah, you went, you went Say, and then like the next dialogue, you went Sigh. Oh, fuck. No, you went Sigh, and then you went Say. Whoops. <laughs> I'm the same, I'm a son of a mountain, so. 
<laughs> that, there's not much to say, really. Uh, there's an odd silly rumor here and there. Like the vending machine's taser malfunctions, uh, fun functioning, so applying more strength. Or that the rider of the last train in the world is actually living here as a brain in a jar. Those are the kind of rumors you hear from crackheads. Hmm. Uh. Crackheads, if I, if I hold one piece of info you need, but you also hear crap like that. Yeah, give it like a second. I see. Anyway, I'm leaving. Happy New Year, bartender. Please come again. Okay, then. Um... But wait, no, she's out. Gil, you there? Yeah, taking your break. Let me know if someone comes in. So we should have enough time for this next one because the rack. We, this is going to be one of the bonus characters that we got for serving flaming Maui's. Bonus like, characters. Mm -hmm. Cool. And I believe Khan is voicing this one. Yes! Hey, I just now looked at uh, <laughs> Twitch chat. What did Joshi mean by AC shut up? Um, you I made mean, it Eddie. 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 Yeah, I mean, David Murphy had. Why did you say it to my face, little punk? I did you shut up. Okay, shut the fuck up, AC. You can't say it to someone's face on Discord either. <laughs> huh? I mean, no, it's wrong. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> things are pretty. Sorry, keep going. Shut up, please. Kermit. Things are pretty quiet outside. Look, you don't give me control over the main body enough. Jeez. I just gave you like a good five minutes. And just like that, it's horrifying. <laughs> Direction for this? Uh, I honestly, I don't know what the hell the character looks like. So just kind of like, uh, play it by ear. Uh, when they you show don't up know on what screen. They look like? No, I don't. I don't the character. I don't know. Uh, Excuse me, is this the Valhalla bar? Probably works. It certainly is. Welcome. What can I get you? Actually, I'm looking for. Lexi! There she is. I'm looking for some stuff. I'll be with you in a second. Don't worry. I'll just have a drink in the meantime. So, you're Jill? You, you know, know me? me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know me? I've, I've been keeping in touch with Dana ever since she left Neo San Francisco. Oh, nice sisters. She always talks about you, about her sister, about her friend Panama, about her sister, about her sister, and about this dog she picked up in the street. A dog? Yeah, I think she called him Gillian. <laughs> that can't be right. First, I've heard of this dog. Yeah, she told me he appeared at the door looking very pitiful. And she always talks so happily about how he opens up to the people around. She's even asked me for help finding where she came from. Hmm. Um... Oh, so here, this is this is here from uh, a game where actually we have like, we actually have on the docket. Uh, Twenty sixty four. Read only memories. Man, oh. Memories. I don't know what that is. It's not a VM. So a dog, huh? That's you. Did you hear something outside? Probably just a dog sneezing. What can I get you? Hmm. Let's try the French weaver. On it. So she's a character from another VL. VN, yes. Yeah. VL? Visual love. Oh! Oh! Sorry, sorry. Sorry for what? Uh, Shut up! I was mixing up light novel and visual novel in my head. Alright, time to age and mix this bitch. Your friend Weaver. 
seems right. Thanks. Ugh, sorry, my office is a mess, so I can't let you in right now. I'll just go buy some. You take your time. This is the first time I've seen her get excited about someone. Well, like, what the hell? What's happening right here since I last saw her? I had a brief stint with me at the New San Francisco Police Department. Huh. Another, another thing to add to the oddly adventurous past of my boss. I can't picture her as a policeman woman, though. Well, she was more of a collaborator. She sounds like an arc. Hmm. Everyone in the department acknowledged her abilities, and she helped us from time to time. Oh, you're an arc. Oh. She was authorized to come with us, but couldn't act by herself. She didn't have a gun or a badge, but she did have a radio to stay in touch. And I'm not gonna lie, she was one of the best backup partners I've had over the years. She once took down a band of punks with nothing but a loaf of bread. A loaf of... Yep, sounds like boss. She requested that the next loaf have sesame seeds. Something about it hitting harder. <laughs> so, punch it for swinging bread loaves like swords, not just some weird habit. And how did she end up with the police of all places? Her old league, the Grand Slam Fighters, was fighting against the NSFW. Really? NSFW? Not safe for what? I was there because I needed to ask the owner of the league a couple of questions. But then a fight broke out. Many drunkards joined the fray not too long after. I was gonna start evacuating the place, but before I knew it, she had already subdued the troublemakers. I asked for help with the rest of the case. One thing led to another. No. Oh. I was afraid that she wanted to been involved, become involved as an alternative, uh, as an alternate to jail. Right. Nah, she's not that kind of girl. So you came all this way for a visit? I'm in the middle of some investigations, actually. I don't think the Neo San Francisco police has any say on whatever happens here. I'm not the police anymore. Just a simple private investigator. If you came all this way here on a case, you can't just be a simple private investigator. Fair enough. You wouldn't by any chance have heard about a group called the Swap Spiders, would you? First I heard- I hear- ah. First I hear that name, sorry, that's terrible. Don't worry. Say, let's try this. Sugar Rush. Sure. Give her a Sugar Rush. And Crunk? Is that optional? Gonna get a crunk. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I've heard about. Ugh. All right, fuck it. Let's just hit a bar and chill. We are at a bar. <laughs> Boss, you own a bar. Doctors don't diagnose themselves, Jill. I guess you're right. Wait, is she? Calm down, you don't need to overdo it. We're not dating anymore. Yo! <laughs> Wait, she what? <laughs> I was bored, she was lonely, we gave it a try, it didn't work, we broke up after less than a week. 
Oh. <laughs> huh. What didn't work? She was too uptight. She was too... Dana. Too... Dana? On her first date, she got her head stuck in a bucket. Dinner became a night in a hardware store getting the thing off. Perfect woman. Oh. Who? Dana. Yeah, I get it. Anyways. I haven't seen you in person in a long time. I need to leave before New Year's. I don't want to make a mess. Don't try too hard. Seriously, don't. You'll make a mess. Let's just go outside and drink Hassie. I came all the way here to drink Hassie. I have Hassie at home. Hey, this stuff is like caviar here thanks to import rates. I'll take your offer then. You go ahead while I grab some ice. Okay. A pleasure to meet you, Joe. Please come again. Huh. Hey, boss. Yes? Lexi said something that got me thinking. The relationship? No, I just... I actually... got me curious. Do you swing that way, boss? Cuteness knows no boundaries. Alright. Preach! Anyways, it got me thinking and such. She thinks Gil is a dog. She does? Yeah. When you talk about him, she thinks you're talking about a dog. Hmm. Gil is patrolling nearby with Nacho and the other dog. This will be fun. <laughs> Just don't overdo it. Oh, I think I know who this is. Feeling lonely? That voice. Hey, Joe. Long time no see. Oh my god, Really it's the long the time no see. Seriously, it feels like it's been over a year since I last saw you. I was planning on visiting you last week, but things were pretty heavy back then. So I just wanted to just wait in the background so the tension wore off a bit. Earth to Joe, I'm talking to you here. I ignore Shalif. I'm not an unfathomable sense of dread. You can't just ignore me, you know? Julian Stingray, I'm talking to you! Calm down, don't offer her taunts. How did she know my full name, though? I thought your full name was Juliet and uh, uh, Natalie Stingray. Or did you legally remove the Natalie? Never mind that. Is she reading my thoughts? Yeah, I mean, they're kind of written in the middle, in the middle of the screen. Try not to see them, actually. Alright, that's it. I'm going crazy. Such a self-centered way to see the world. You seem like you're crazy because you can't accept that this world could be weirder than you think. This world's amazing because of the things you can't just explain. And just because only you experience them doesn't mean it's a liar that you're crazy. I mean, just look at ASMR. No, I'm pretty sure that's what a crazy person would say in this scenario. You acknowledged me. Shit. That's good. I want. I'm not serving you anything. What? Why? Last time you came, I had to clean the drinks I served you off the floor. Don't be like that. The drinks were also paid for with my money. I don't know how you did it, but said uh, that. I don't know how you did it, but that's. I can't fucking read, but that set any and all plans I had for the rest of the week off balance. I was gonna buy some curry with that money and to put up those drinks. Dog duty done. I know we have slow days, but for God's sake. You okay? You look angry. I'm fine. Good job out there. 
Yeah, I'm back. Uh, boss, what happened? Meeting cut short. At least they drink the has, hasses, hassy, the bottles. You okay? You look distraught. I'm fine. So they really can't see you. I mean, you're right in front of them. And you're wearing jeans under skirt. Why? Just why? To annoy people, of course. That new trend? What do you think she's doing? Everyone feels like it's not quite right. Everyone thinks they should call you out. But they can't bring themselves to do it because it's not that wrong. There are things like spats, after all. It's uncannily right, not all that wrong, and they can't stop staring. Not like anyone other than me could see it, though. They could see it if they wanted to. Jill, you're making an awful lot of faces there. You okay? Yeah, just remembering stuff. Man, I miss not being crazy. Boss, I'm leaving early today. And you stay there, or stay here. Who stays where? Crap, did I just... You have to be the first person I've met who mixes their inner and outer voices. I... um... I thought I saw one of the dogs near the counter, sorry. Oh, okay. Can I leave a bit earlier today? Sure, thanks for taking care of the fort. What about me? You haven't left yet. I'll thank you when you leave. It's not what I... No, uh, whatever. Perfect day. Nice. Oh, very. Rent is due on the 30th. Night Very of cool. the ID snatchers. Yep, we're gonna wrap this. Well, we're not gonna wrap okay, anything actually, up. Okay, actually, this sounds pretty terrifying. Mm -hmm. Day fifteen. Actually, we're getting pretty close to being done. Right. But yeah. So, fun fact: apparently, mm -hmm. uh, these games, uh, uh, twenty sixty four and this, were in the same reality. Cool. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, I believe uh, boss shows up in twenty sixty four too. Ooh, sick. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Mm -hmm. And we'll get to that whenever we play that fucking game on stream. <laughs> yeah. That's why they call you the boss. Is Ooh, that coming oh, yeah. after Valhalla? Uh, I mean, what is it? I don't know what the hell my scheduling is like right now because, uh. Isn't it super short? It's relatively short. It's like 10 hours long. I was say, we could probably get away with, like, cramming it in right before we go for the big stuff. Very true. We could just cram it in there really quickly. What yes. other big stuff did we have planned after Valhalla, though? We were gonna do the big Final Fantasy thing, but, uh, we're gonna have a little When's bit of coffee an talk. Oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot about fucking coffee talk, shit! Wait, is, is Steins Gate is Golden Theater, right? Steins Gate's Golden coffee Theater. Talk? We're either gonna be doing that before or after Pasta Mafia. Hmm. Pasta, Pasta Mafia? Pasta Mafia? Yeah. Rose Gun Days. Oh. Oh! Don't you, oh, you don't know what it means, Bo. I thought so, there was another wait, game we're doing, called Mafia Mafia. We're doing Rose Gun before uh, Siconia, right? <coughs> yes, yes. We're gonna What's try Siconia? and off. Are we Yeah, Siconia to... is not finished Siconia. yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, Orange, are we still finished? Siconia. 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 Look, look, Siconia. there is motion arrows in that game. Uh, hey, Orange, it doesn't we... matter. Hey, hey, Orange, are we still doing Higonbana? Oh, uh, yeah, we're gonna do Higonbana. Oh, uh, okay. We're gonna well, do all the Rikishi stuff eventually. We're just taking a little detour because um Will that be a censored rot. version? Because No, it's uh, gonna be the actual version of the thing. Like, I, was gonna, I don't think I, the VN actually I was gonna say Rikishi VNs don't really have sex stuff in them. I was not aware oh. and Vana and was spicy. Dude, well, no, 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 no. It's not not that way, not that way, not that way, no, no. It's a it, more like it's about uh, it's not cotton, bullying, but to put it lightly. It's mm -hmm. about what bullying. Said. It's about bullying. Uh, I see. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah. regarding the, the pronunciation, with the amount of nationalities in that, I don't think it mattered. mattered. Kikonia. The Pax Romana died centuries ago. It doesn't matter. Hey, Anyways, Kikonia. Hey, Bone, do you want me to teach you the method I adapted because of all this? What? <laughs> No, we are not having this discussion again. Move on. Anyways, 
because of the fact that because anyways, of the nature of the, anyways because of the nature of how uh, language exists there can be multiple pronunciations of the same word the traditional english version of the word is saconia and the and the word originated in latin anyway so it doesn't really matter anyways that's going to do it for the stream everybody i'll see you all later good night bye 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 bye